you guys and welcome back to my channel it's me Morgan I have not vlogged in a very 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 long time and I'm going to try to vlog today and just step up my vlogging game again um, there's like so much stuff to tell you guys and just stuff about life and everything so right now I'm in the car of course I'm headed to my school so today is July 30th and if y'all don't know I am a teacher I teach kindergarten this will be my eighth year teaching and this is probably gonna be the craziest year because of this whole pandemic thing um, we kind of stopped in-person learning not kind of we did we stopped in-person learning March like March 8th or something like that oh I don't get hit by a car oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. so <laughs> I'm good we uh, started, stopped teaching in person in March and then we did virtual up until May. And so now um, it's time for school to start again. And in Georgia, we start really early. So the kids usually start the first week of August um, and the teachers go back the last week of July. So technically, uh, we were supposed to start on like the 27th, I think, or 28th, whatever that Monday was. So we were supposed to start then, um, but they pushed it back because of, you know, COVID and all that stuff. So um, the county I work in right now, we're doing a virtual and they said they're going to check like month by month at the statistics and stuff for Corona and decide what they need to do. So we start back teachers start back august 5th um and the kids start back august 17th so our ap emailed us a couple days ago and said if we wanted to we can set our classroom up for virtual teaching and y'all when it was march through may virtual teaching in my apartment was so hard because i'm just a type of person like i need to be in a classroom i need to be outside of my house i'm not a good like work from home person like i'm horrible at it i get distracted like i get so lazy like all this stuff and then plus like the stuff in the class the stuff i need to teach with is in the classroom and i don't want to bring all that stuff in my apartment my apartment is already like a whole you know thing anyway like i have so much stuff so yeah so um I picked today and my big sis Kaya, which y'all seen her before, um, she was teaching first grade and she came down to kindergarten with me this year. So she is going to be with me. Um, her class will be across the hall from mine. And yeah, so she's coming today. She's already at the school actually, but we're going to move. Well, I got to put my classroom back together because they made us take it down and then she's going to move from her first grade room. Oh my God, just camera keep, keeps moving. She's gonna move from her first grade room to kindergarten room. And yeah, so I'm gonna get my classroom set up today. I need to eat first, I'm so hungry. I have some chicken wings and some steak. And it's like 10, it's like 11 o'clock a.m. But it's like basically lunchtime. So I'm gonna go in the room, show y'all what the room looks like like kind of bare and then eat and then probably show you Kaya and start setting my room up I guess today's really the only day I want to come because tomorrow's Friday I don't want to be at the school on a Friday so yeah so I'll see you guys in a few hey you guys okay so I'm finally back in my classroom and before I even start tackling this whole room up I really wanted to eat because I'm so hungry and it's what time is it now? It's 11.20. So I came into school and saw my AP and Kaya. So she came yesterday apparently and moved everything from her first grade room to her kindergarten room. So I'm going to show you guys her room also soon. But I really want to eat. I just have some chicken wings and some like leftover steak um, to eat. Because I'm... That's all I really had in the refrigerator. But yeah, and how cute is this water bottle? Look at it. I got it on Amazon. I'll leave the link below if you guys like it, but it has like the time. So you're supposed to drink that amount by that time. And then you refill it once you get to the end. 
and yeah so cute so yeah so when i set my classroom up i'm probably not gonna like do every single thing I used to do just because right now there aren't any kids in here I'm probably gonna more so focus on setting up an area for like virtual teaching so um, usually I put my kidney bean table by the window but if I'm gonna be recording videos and stuff I need to do it so I'm facing the window for natural lighting so I'm gonna have to switch it on the other side of the room but yeah but anyway, we're just gonna chat and eat for a second, and which is probably not a good thing to do, but it's just been so crazy. Like, I really, I'm excited um, for the school year. And I've been working on my virtual classroom as well, uh, which I'll share. And I will be posting more teacher videos on my teacher page. I just wanted to put this on my main page because I feel like I haven't put anything up lately. So I'll leave my teacher YouTube channel in the link, not in the link, in the info box below also. So you guys can go over there for teacher stuff. And uh, this shirt is from Trendy Teachers and it says most valuable teacher. In case y'all were wondering, okay. But yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this so I can hurry up and eat and then come back and show you my room, what it looks like literally right when I came in, because I have done nothing to it so far. Show you what it looks like, and then I'm gonna show you Kaya's old room, and then her new room, which is across the hall from me. So I'll be back. Okay. So, here's my classroom. Um, I did come back in June to put everything up. So this is what it looks like. They waxed the floors, they're so nice. Um, so we had to cover up stuff on the wall. So this is my word wall, not word wall, my focus wall. Cause I was not taking it down, okay? So um, I left this up and then we have the cubbies over here, the carpet, which they clean. I'm so happy cause it looks so beautiful. Um, I opened the windows with the blinds and here's my other carpet. I had this carpet for like ever, probably like five, it has to be at least five years now, but they clean that. Um, my little desk, the computer slash TV, and we have these two boards over here and all this stuff. So this is my room, spin around. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put these cubbies, how they're supposed to be, and then move my desk over. And I'm really trying to think how I want my like virtual thing set up. Cause at first I was like, I can put it behind me because when I teach or do like a lesson or something, I'll have the calendar, which I really like having the calendar up um, in the videos too and I have this board that I can write stuff on when I'm teaching. But then I was like, the focus wall looks so cute over there too, so I just really don't know what to do. But I definitely cannot put that kidney bean table, and if y'all don't know what a kidney bean table is, it's this one right here. That looks like a kidney bean. So I can't put it in front of the window, so I usually put it like right here, but I can't because of the lighting and I need some good lighting, okay? So I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna arrange the tables first and the cubbies and then do all the extra stuff in a few. So let me go ahead and do this first. Okay, so I moved these cubbies over here back to where they were my little lamp over there, moved that carpet there. And I'm really trying to figure out where I want to put this kitty bee table because if I put it over here, um, I feel like it's just more space over there and I like the backdrop of it and everything. But if I put it over here, there's not as much space. 
but I feel like the lighting will be good over there too. The lighting will probably be good there also, but I just don't like how it's also like in front of the door. Why is this not focusing? I don't like how it's like not in front of the door. I mean, I don't like how it is in front of the door because people like, you know, people walk by and they just look at you while you're recording. And I don't know. I don't know what I should do. So I'm gonna go see Kaya and see what she thinks I should do. Okay. Kaya! Kaya! Kaya, are you in here? She just ignores me. Hi. 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 Say hi. hi. This is Kai Kai. Kaya. Y'all seen her before? Her classroom light will not turn on. It's broken. So it's kind of dark in here. But here's her classroom. Oh wait, I have to show them your other classroom first. Right, but this one is not cute yet. It's okay, we just moved. It's well, you junk. no, you literally moved from a whole different room to this one. Right. So, um, I'll be back. I'm gonna show you guys where she moved from. So, this hallway is the kindergarten hallway. And it's yellow on the floor, and then the orange is for first grade. So her room was literally around the corner from my classroom. And this is her old room. So the first grade rooms were smaller, but she has all this stuff up still. But her room was super cute last year, a little popcorn maker. So she's like right now in progress of moving from like this room to the room she's at now, which is across from me. But um, I have the same thing up here. I just have to put mine back up because we had to take everything down. We were supposed to at least. But yeah, so this is her old room. And we're gonna go back to her new room. But I'm just so proud of her because she moved everything by herself. Yes. Welcome back. Do you like your view? Or do you like your other view better? No, I really don't like the view. <laughs> totally I, I like the view. I like the view. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> I like the view. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah. isn't her stage cute? It used to light up and then one of the kids broke it? Yeah. Or you did? No. The kid. One of the kids broke it. But it used to light up. It was like so cute. On it, which I wasn't in the room because nobody's allowed on that stage except me unless they earn the right to go on the stage. So there was a so sub there. There was a sub there and I came. And do you see that? I have to paint. The whole thing. So it's not even beautiful anymore. But it's still cute. It's all good. So yeah, so she's working on her room and getting everything together. It's going to look so beautiful. Yes. Your mask. Have to be safe. Yes. It's not safe for the kids. You're right. I have a question. So, well, I don't know where to put my candy bean table. Can you come look at my room? Okay, so I didn't know if I should put the candy bean table. Oh my goodness, I know I missed my view. <laughs> I like the view. Aww. Okay. Um, okay, so should I put it like here or should I put it over there? So the thing like over here. Only because that there and you know, it's like it, a lot. It, it, yeah, spread it out. Oh, I need to. Yeah. And the only thing I just don't like is the fact, like, if I record, like, people walk by. But I don't think there's going to be that many people here anyway. But people walk by, and they're just so nosy. So I might put something on my thing just to cover. You know how I have my wreath there? Yeah, it you know covers it. Making? Oh, yeah, I want to get one of those, too. It's locked. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put it here. I mean, I'm right here. I don't like being right there, too. So, mm -hmm. But it's just the only thing that makes sense. Space out. Yeah. Because be usually it's right here, you know. Oh, yeah. But when I record, you can't. Like the lighting's not good because the sun's behind you. Yeah. So you have to be like this way. Yeah. This is like actually perfect. Like this right here. I wonder yeah, what it's like here then. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, the lighting's fine here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because then that could stay up. And I'm going to put that board. It's fine. I figured if we had a small group or whatever, we put a table there, we could kind of, I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Like I, I didn't just, I would have blocked this. Like this is irrelevant right now. This right. you know I have money. I mean, it's, it's not like irrelevant. Everything. Everything's relevant. <laughs> <laughs> but I can just put like But then I'm with a table over here. Ooh. I just feel weird putting this on carpet. And I can see the board too. I just really like how this is here so that they can see like what they're still working on. Yes. Uh uh. Where's my chair? Oh, I had to find. I know they did. All of my stuff was found in this early. Oh. No, I got this one at Target and it was $17. Yeah, that was $29 at Aviana. There's a red one. They have a fluffy one and they have a gray one. But I was like, where am I going to put it? Mm -hmm. And do I really need it now? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's where I used to put it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 You sit in a little chair like that and you push your kid? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> but I don't have the other chair in here right now, so. Where's your other chair? That's not Okay, so for right now, I kind of just set this area up for virtual. Okay, so this is where my stuff's gonna be, I guess. I think I can lower this a little more, I'm not sure. But um, I need to go get an adult chair because this chair right here is really, really low. And this chair is a chair that goes on my carpet when I do read alouds and stuff. So. Yeah, and over here, I have my cart where I can put the stuff I need to teach over there. And then behind me, this stuff is like from March, what we were learning, but it'll be behind me so you can see it. So I'm gonna try to get like a whole little setup type thing going on um, for this little virtual learning. I think I'm about to put these tables wherever else they need to go and put the chairs out to act like I have kids coming in. My mom told me I should like put the kids' names on the desk so it's like they're really here. I thought that was cute. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now so I can finish everything, all the basic stuff, finish that. done like setting everything up for right now um right here i did switch out the other board so the other board was like taller and i tried to push it down some to make it shorter and more eye level but that was not working so i got this one um which i had since like my first year teaching but i really like this one because you can clip like you know these charts on it and then you can also write on that and then i have the stuff we're learning back here and yeah what i'm probably gonna do is um get like a really tall tripod so i order a ring light and it came with a tripod so i'll probably like put it like directly in front of me because right now my tripod's on the table but i'm just gonna work with things and see how it goes um i still we still don't know what we're doing yet like we know we're virtual but we don't know like all the specifics and stuff. So we're just waiting to hear from that. And um, so next Wednesday, August 5th is when we start, te not start teaching, but like teachers go back. I think we're doing some like PL, like professional learning, like stuff like that. And then the 10th is our actual like start day for like this school year so i think you know we're doing pre-planning the week of the 10th and then august 17th that's when school officially starts for the kids so um i've been working on my google classroom and i'm gonna show you guys i'll probably turn the camera on so y'all can see it better but um i've been working on my google classroom I'm gonna have to turn the camera around so y'all can see it. But it's so cute. I'm about to show you guys, I'm super excited. Like I started this yesterday and I kind of want the classroom on Google Classroom, of course, to kind of look like mine. So I'm gonna show you guys now real quick. 
Okay, so first here's my classroom so far. I just put things where they're supposed to go, like how it was before. The only difference is like, these three tables were here already um, from last semester, well last school year, that's where I had them. And then that circle table was there in that spot, but by the window it was this kidney bean table. So I just put it over here because of the lighting, of course. And I kind of want to take this rug from under me and put it over there because, I don't know, well, it's actually comfy, so I might keep it here. But yeah, so I have to put, just like in Kaya's old room I was showing you, the alphabet was at the top, no, the alphabet was at the bottom, and then at the top were the numbers. So I was going to do that today, but I don't have any more like adhesive to put on the wall so it can stick. So I have to go to Target and then come back. I'll probably come back when school starts to do it. But um, yeah, so um, here's my virtual classroom. So I made this on Google Slides. I watched a YouTube video, this girl did it. And then I kind of just followed that and stuff so like literally literally everything on here is clickable so like you can click the alphabet and it will take you to the video which there's probably an ad Ooh, but yeah um skip the ad real quick i thought i pressed play. okay so yeah so it takes you directly to it and this is the alphabet song that I do every day with them anyway. But it's so cute. K L M N O P. Yeah. So you click on this thing and it will take you to it. Um, I put a little MacBook, an iMac up here. So these have the games that they can do. And this virtual classroom I have up right now, it's not finished yet, but this is kind of like the basics of what I want them to do the first couple weeks of school because they're brand new coming to kindergarten. So they're able to click on it, the computer, and click on one of these websites and it will take you to it. And and like the plans, of course, I'll tell them like what letter we're doing so you can click on that. And it will do all about the letter A. A. So it's, it's pretty cute. I really like this one. A. I've been using it forever. But, um, yeah, click on a book, Froggy Goes to School, it will take it to a YouTube video, and it will do a read aloud. This internet here is going so slow, but it will do the read aloud, and has like the counting song, if you click on that. Yes, so y'all pretty much get it. Yes, yes. And this counting video is gonna be up here all school year, because they need to know how to count, of course. But I like Jack Hartman's videos because he does like a lot of different things. Like this one is a counting and exercise one. So I'm starting off with that so they can get moving. In shape. Let's get so, fit. Yeah. Two, three, four. So he like counts and does exercises. So I'll just switch off the video for that. And then I have myself right here. I'm a bit moji, you know. Um, so what I plan to do is make like a welcome to kindergarten video for my kids and like, you know, tell them about me and who I am, who their teacher is. So when they click on me, then they'll be able to go to that video and see me and stuff. And then I can give them like updates and all that. So I'm going to write something on here, but everything on here is literally clickable. Um, so yeah, it's so great and it's so cute. I love it. Okay, so that's like pretty much it for my classroom right now. I I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. So I just feel like everybody in the world right now is kind of just like everywhere because of the whole corona thing. Like we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going to happen. None of that. So um I was just I just came in just to like literally get the basics done in my room. And is that I thought I heard somebody. Um, just get like the basics and stuff done and oh my gosh, the lights. So my classroom has like timed lights, the sensor. So if you are 
sitting in one spot, like in the corner for a long time, it will go off. So let me go turn the light on real quick. You literally just have to like walk in the middle of the classroom and it comes back on. But yeah, so I'm excited to figure out what's gonna happen. So I believe if the teachers want to come in the classroom like physically to virtual teach then we're allowed to if not you can just teach at home i opted for coming into the classroom just because of the type of person i am i'm very like scheduled and routine and i need to be out the house like i do not like sitting in the house all day so Plus it's like more difficult anyway because all the stuff is in the classroom and I just feel like I can focus much better when I'm in the room in the correct setting because at home I just feel like it's a time to relax, you know, tranquility. It's time to um, just have time for yourself there and I don't have like a huge place so I don't even have like in office space or anything so it's just best that I come into the classroom and you know I'm able to get out and I don't think honestly that many teachers are gonna be in the building anyway and uh, I mean I feel safe because when I come in the building I can just wear my mask and come straight to my room but once I get into the room nobody else is in here like unless I have like somebody else come in and if somebody does come in my room just to like say hey like if Kaya comes in or something then we can just you know social distance ourselves from each other but yeah so I'm super excited I looked at my roster and I have eight kids so far and I think these are the kids from pre-k but I don't know I just have all kind of emotions going on right now because oh let me get in because like this is the first time this ever happened you know and this is way out of the ordinary like this is <laughs> like i can't believe we're living i mean i know we're living but i can't believe we're like going through a pandemic right now so yeah it's very very interesting i have eight kids so far and these eight kids are from pre-k because they were at our school last year because they have pictures next to their names already. Um, yeah, I don't even know how they're doing like registration or anything like that, but we will find out soon. Um, the next time I come in, I'm definitely going to record so you guys can see like the full, full classroom, what it looks like. But y'all, I've only been here for like two hours and being off work for like five months, kind of. I mean, we were off in the summer for like the two months, but... We technically been gone out of here since March. So being gone for five months and coming back in is actually tiring. Like I'm actually tired now, I wanna take a nap. And I've only been here for two hours and I just put stuff in the right spaces. So yeah, it's gonna be a struggle, especially waking up in the morning at like seven or eight, whenever we're supposed to start school, that's gonna be a whole struggle, but we can do it. I'm happy to be back cause I was getting very bored and I need a routine. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go check on Kaya and see what she's doing. But I think that's it that I have to show you guys in my room today. I'll definitely be doing some more videos like of my classroom. And make sure you guys follow, or subscribe to my teacher YouTube channel, which I'll link below, and my teacher Instagram page. I will be adding much more stuff because now I feel like I have all the time <laughs> to put my teacher stuff up, especially since it's virtual. So make sure you guys check that out. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.